I'm just going to go through 10 scams to avoid. These are 10 scams that can happen to people that I know people who fell for them. So I'm just going to dive right into them. If you want any of the free training that I put together, it's like a little mini course on avoiding scams and avoiding phishing attempts and all that kind of stuff. Just drop the word scam. So number one is banking scams. So these kinds of scams, scammers send emails or messages pretending to be from your bank, asking you to verify your account information or reset your password. So your bank, your bank is not going to send you emails and they're not going to ask you for your login credentials or any of that. They're not going to ask you for your account number. They ask you when you go to the teller and you're taking money out of your bank account in person, right? But they're not going to do that. They're not going to message you. They're not going to text you and they're not going to email you. They might call you. Take that back. They will not call you asking for that kind of information. No, because you would call them, right? You call them and then they ask for it to verify your identity. But they won't be reaching out and calling you unless you owe them money, but then they're not asking for that kind of information, right? They're asking you to pay them. So number two, PayPal and payment service scams. So these scams appear to be from PayPal or one of the other Venmo or whatever. They appear to be from legit resources. I've seen them, the texts on my phone, PayPal, asking for payment. And I'll be like, what for? I know I didn't use PayPal to buy anything. And besides that, if I did, mine's linked to my credit card. So I would have used the credit card, right? So don't fall for those. It's number two. Number three is tax scams. So these are phishing attempts. They look like from the, I, they're, they look like they're from the IRS. Now, I don't know if you've dealt with the IRS, but they only email. They only send certified mail to you because it's a federal offense to use the mail, the U.S. Postal Service, for these scams. Believe it or not, scams that are done in emails and texts are actually legal in some countries. And they can't send you local mail, paper mail, when they're in these other countries. So the IRS will only send you, and it will have their logo and their watermark on the page and everything. So you'll know it's from the IRS. And if you're in deep trouble, they'll knock on your door, but <laughs> they're not gonna text you. They're not gonna call you. So don't fall for it. Have you ever heard of an elderly person in your family getting a call from the IRS asking them for information? Yeah, they leave messages on the phone saying, hey, we have a problem with your taxes. Please call us fall for those scams. And they happen every tax season. Tech support scams. So these, I don't know how many people I've known that have fallen for these, but you cl you accidentally clicked something and you, you do have an infection on your computer this is what happened, but you don't know it. And it pops up on your screen and says, Microsoft has detected a problem on your computer. Call this number right away. And then they ask for your credit card number and then they ask to get into your system. And then they start stealing things. Have you ever seen the movie, The Beekeeper? It's a fictional story about a woman who got scammed and the beekeeper goes after the scammers, right? But it happens all the time. So Microsoft does not put pop-ups on your screen saying, hey, you need to call us immediately. No, they're not going to do that. You do get pop-ups from your anti-scam software, anti-virus software and stuff like that. But they still, they still don't say call us immediately. They just say you've been infected. Here's what you got to do. They might send you instructions or whatever. Take it to a technician and have it cleaned off. Simple. There's lots of them. There's like five of them in town here. So I know you have somebody you can call and pay them to clean off your computer. So if you get a pop-up like that, have them clean off your computer. It's better to be safe than sorry. Better to pay a hundred bucks than to lose thousands. So tech support scams, social media scams. So these, I, we already talked, I talked about this on an, earlier. And these are Facebook, Facebook accounts. They're fake, right? Sometimes they pretend to be the entity like Facebook or whatever. And when you click on their actually like page or something, it's really weird. 
but they will send you these notes that look legit. And it says your Facebook account is at risk here to reset your password. Don't put your password in. They're trying to steal that information. They want the password because they want to try the password on all the other accounts possible, or they just want to steal your account. So they could be you, right? I, I've had, I remember a, a marketer I know who had this happen to him and, uh, it was quite the process because he had to rebuild everything on another profile. He had to prove to Facebook that he was him and that this other person had stole. It was just a mess. So don't give them your password. Use multi-factor authentication on your account. Don't give them your password. Facebook is not going to send you any messages saying there's a problem with your account. You need to reset your password. They're not going to do that. Job offer scams. So here's something that I didn't even realize was a thing, but these people offer fake job opportunities. And then when you apply for the job, they ask you to pay fees or something, upfront fees for, tra for training materials or are for some kind of transactional expenses or whatever. They make shit up. Sorry, I probably shouldn't say that on my live, but they make stuff up or they might say, we reviewed your resume and would like to offer you a position, but please fill out this form to proceed or give us your credit card, right? No, don't. They're fake. The job offer will disappear as soon as they have what they want from you. So e-commerce and online store scams. An example is order confirmation or shipping notices that trick you into providing login details sometimes credit card information. So be diligent. Look at the websites. Make sure it's not a fake ad or not a fake account. Just watch out for those. Gift card scams is number eight. And this is where they pretend to be somebody that is a person in an authority position or whatever. And they say, hey, let's say your boss or somebody. Hey, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to run to the store and get some gift cards for some of the employees or whatever. And they send you and they say, send the gift cards to this email or text me them or whatever. Then they run off here for their money. They're scams. So don't fall for those either. Charity scams, number nine. So these are fraudulent emails or messages claiming to be from charities, especially from natural disasters, significant events, asking for donations. It says donate now or click here to contribute. They steal your information and they're off to the bank with your money or they're off to the dark web with your information. And then there is number 10, the fake invoice scams. Just don't open attachments. Don't click links. Just again, I know we, I say this all the time on our company wide lives and stuff like that. Don't click links. So verify that. All right. So just stay vigilant out there. Stay safe. Those are the top 10 scams to avoid. Is 